And good evening, everyone. I think <laughs> we've just had one of those setups where everything and anything kept going wrong. Uh, yeah, so new camera at the front. Yep, stop doing all of the. Hi, Foxy. How you, Dead Stay? Uh, so, yeah. Um, Wee Nightmare to start with. So, I had to swap to a, the tan side of this because for some reason the black and white was flaring the camera. No idea why. Um, so, it took a extra half hour or so to get set up um, and nothing really 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 wanted to work <sighs> but we're there we've got it uh, don't know if I'm too bright because it'll get dark soon anyway Zoe's brought me a cup of tea to calm me down because I was getting very stressed oh, and it's a good good cup of tea um God, those captions are awful. At least, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Cap Why are the captions staying on? There we go. I've turned the captions off, so I can't see what I'm saying. I see Mr. Christian in the uh, in, in the world of uh, Facebook. He should be on uh, Twitch watching. So, tonight, um, things I've got to paint and do. We're going to do the white on the blue monkey. Um, he was going to sit at the side and watch. I'm going to do another Iden and Droid. Um, this was a bit of the conversion one that we did, where we put the backpack on. Yeah, where the rifle's slung on the back. That one. And then we're going to do fully modded lightings. Modded. You can't see because I've got some blue tack around it to try and stop the paint going in to there for now um, I'm going to try and get that primed and do some work on that one and yeah I did find some other bits and pieces to, to do it but we'll do it uh, as usual we'll do it as it comes along so everything's running not a problem Reese. we will yeah the Emperor is cool it's a giveaway as well Foxy, so I know it's going to take us a week or two to get it all sorted, um, but or maybe it's next week's stream. Um, I'll if you've got the beholder, I'll probably do what I said and paint the other beholder at the same time. Um, obviously, this one lights up, but if you get yours to that sort of point. On a base, ready to go. I'm hoping you've bought super glue. Or can find super glue. Hi Adele. Anyway, tonight we are going to have a the May stretch goals up now. Um it's it's already at ten pounds thanks to Ulfric. Hello mate, and thank you for the bits today. That's uh, that really does help, mate. Thank you very much. I'll sort them out soon. And they'll all go together. It's coming tomorrow. Cool. Uh, it probably won't be... I might try a Friday one. I don't know yet. I'll see. We've got a lot of stock and bits and pieces coming. So, the giveaway. Slightly different. So, I've got a friend who has a comic book shop. Um... He was going to do a t-shirt for tonight's stream um, and we're going to sp sp basically start putting a t-shirt link up and it's going to be a t-shirt that um, Protec are supporting and you go and buy the t-shirt from him and it helps him, it helps me, we're all happy. Um, the only problem was James has been really busy over the last couple of days, didn't manage to get it to me. Uh, so it will probably be next week now for the t-shirts but what he does is comics 
Now, I get all my Star Wars comics from him. Uh, hi, Jack. Uh, so, tonight's giveaways. Can we guess what tonight's giveaways are going to be? We're going to do some comics. So, he's managed to get us a couple of the... There's a first edition or a first print of the Han Solo Imperial Cadet. Oh, look at that. All bagged and boarded as well. So, I've got one of them to give away today. Without any paint on it. I have got one of the Age of Rebellion Luke Skywalker. They're a one-shot, so there's number one. I have also got, and one of my personal favourites is, a variant edition. Now, this will probably be the, the first one to uh, put up to go, uh, of Darth Vader 13. So it's um, the second part of Vader Down. It's a variant edition. I've got a nasty feeling I don't have this variant edition, which is going to crucify me. But it's got triple uh, zero and BT1 on the front. And the artwork on that is fantastic. I do like BT1 and triple zero. Um, so they, we mean, um, James did a bit of a deal, and we, we've got some more comics for other nights. But James also gave us um, a carded figure. Now it it is. Um, does look as though it's all it's La Galerie de Galaxies Lagu yeah it's it's in uh, French I think so the card's not in pristine condition but it is a cool piece it's yeah the, he, he is a very very buff stormtrooper So that's going to be the first place prize for tonight, and then the comics after that. So again, four items on the giveaway, as usual, four nice pieces of Star Wars kit. Um, Swall Trooper, yeah. So I'll put them down there for now. Obviously, there's no stretch goal for that tonight, um, but it is appreciated if you want to donate some... Uh, pennies to this month's goal if again if we hit the goal early we will be going for um the dice set and do you know what i really do need to get the other dice set out i keep looking for it and not finding it so we we've had two sets of the regional dice one so far we are running out of it it's it's the back side of the black one, Jack. Um, it just the black. We've had technical difficulties from the start. The black one started flaring on the camera. I've got a new camera in or an old camera in front of me because I've had to swap to that one. So if we and I know it's not going to be tonight, but when we hit the May goal, the bonus goal will be again for the two sets of well, one of the two sets of dice. We've already had um, two sets of the regional dice given away. <laughs> um, so if we hit if we hit the monthly goal we will put up the bonus goal like we have been and there still might be um, extra specials like um, K's obviously given us this one to do another one so that will be on a totally separate one with pew pew laser beams oops thought I'd broken it there. Dark side. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take the battery out before I flatten it. And uh, I'll put that in there so I remember where it is. So, we've got that. We're going to do another bit of Aiden. Um, get her painted, ready to go up on to eBay. I have got a... K2SO kicking about as well. So there's a K2SO. I've got a bit of a problem because um, I now put his head somewhere and can't find it. So 
Cassian's missing his head. So at the moment, oh no, there it is. Oh, Cassian's not missing his head. The monkey was holding on to it. <laughs> so found his head. Phew. Um, before I actually get started, uh, just quickly. So I know people have been following the Wednesday night stream. Uh, sorry, the Friday night stream that we did last week for the Lego builds. Uh, we've got Bobber this Friday. That's why I can't do Friday, because I'm doing Bobber this Friday. And the week after, we got... A TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet. Oh, look how good that is. So, yeah. I've managed to get one so far. And the second one is on its way. So, hopefully by the time we build and give a bobber away, I'll be able to build and give one of these away. The only downside is these have... These have stung quite bad. Um, so they are quite... Uh, the bobber's going to be the same as last week. Um, an £80 stretch goal to do the giveaway. That one might have to be a little bit more because that really did... It, it smarted a little. Um, but it was off the back of the last... Um, the last one, which went really well. So, painting. Paintings. I'm going to get the monkeys dry brushing done. I know a couple of you are watching uh, about the dry brushing. So, using one of our super duper paint brushes. I need some to stop it slipping as well. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, so, yeah, we sprayed in white and then we did the basics of well I cleaned it all up then sprayed in white <laughs> yeah that's better um, and then it was an all over gullum and blue glaze using it as a, more of a wash than a glaze thank you dead stay much appreciated um, <clears throat> so yes we use the glaze as, as more of a wash because the blue from it is really really vibrant so what we're going to use now as a dry brush is there is Prax Praxetti white from GW but um, I use Liquitex heavy, heavy body acrylic titanium white it just gives that bit more it just there's a very high pigment content in it um, and I'll just, and it's not far off a, um, uh, what they're called, a dry brush consistency anyway. So, a quick bit of white. I want to build it quite well onto the brush. It's a fairly heavy um, dry brush, so let's have a look. Take it across his bum first. So the fur goes down, you go across. And you're trying to pick up all of the, the raised ridges. And it, as I said, it's not a light dry brush. It's quite a heavy one. And you can see the white coming through massively. Thank you, Thomas, for liking the stream. So as you can see, it starts to go from what is just like a blue 
looked like a white with blue undertones and obviously you, you can get as much on the the skin area as, as yeah, there's no need to be careful trying not to hit the skin Just ask Foxy what happens when people start dueling for uh, high amounts. What happened to poor Alex? Poor Alex lost all of his Imperial credits. Every one of them. To Foxy. Then had to donate £5 to the stream... And when he donated the £5 for the stream, had enough for one raffle ticket. He used that one raffle ticket to actually win the Stormtrooper. <laughs> it was shocking. But it was really fun. It was a true underdog story. The fact that he just won um, a thousand credits off. Um, oh, Rachel to start with, and then you took all of his and hers. <laughs> I don't think she actually knew what she was doing when she did it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> yeah, but it was funny. <laughs> it is betting, and if you want to lose your uh, credits that way, then I'm not going to sit here and argue. It's a good. It, it's it's a good fun bit of the uh, the stream. I I do it all the time on rasters. We had some great fun, the raids and stuff like that. I need to do. I need to sort the raid text out. Um, there's a lot on the stream that I don't understand, and so I can only apologise. And I will eventually get get good. Keep good. All it's going to take is one of yours to uh, awaken the Ulfric and he'll show you what credits are like. So, he's gone from a a very blue there's still to a not so blue I'll try and do some of his face as well to get some of the the white because uh, I've got to go on <laughs> Ulfric's a superstar But yeah, try and get some white across the belly. And on the monkey boobs. He's got boobs. I 
Oh yeah, that could do with a... Hi Zoe. Why are you late? Been on here for hours. <laughs> so that's Mr. Monkey, and he's looking a lot brighter. Back to his um, white colours. Using the heavy body um, wash that, uh... yeah. What well, are channel points? How do you know where your channel points are? I don't think. Oh, is that the thing down the bottom? Channel points. I've got inf infinite channel points. That'd be because it's my channel. Um. I know I've got quite a few on. I think you can use them to do shout in this chat. So it comes up and it's all highlighted. Um. Unlock rewards. Unlock a random emote. Ah, uh, so you can pay Dad, I need to get a sticker. I need to get a sticker. Yes, you can do messages like that that highlight them and stuff, but Apparently you can also unlock a random sub emote, highlight my message, send a message in sub mode only, and some smiley ones. Doesn't have any emotes to unlock. So, um, I've got a great guy I know. Um, it's a lad called Foxy who was going to look into this sort of stuff for us. So, I'll, uh, I'll have a word with him, unless anyone knows him and... Uh, can speak to him now. Well, I don't know where to do that. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, yes, please. It, any, any sort of stuff like that, um, we can have some fun with. So, monkey's done. I've got to really let the monkey go dry. So, he's just going to sit there and watch. I've got to get the airbrush out so I need to do the black on the airbrush um, have I got enough black yet I've got a very itchy ear tonight I'm going to get annoyed so I'll give the uh, airbrush a quick clean <coughs> I have been using it today, so before I get shouted at off anyone. Ooh. Foxy. That's the stuff that killed my mouse mat. <laughs> so, I have... Um... um sorry, I had... Um, a mouse mat and I've had it for years so that's it there and it's a razor destructor mouse mat I don't know if you can see. yeah there you can see see where it's all melted Foxy so it was very mucky I've had it for six or seven years possibly more um, and it's on my painting desk so it was absolutely thick black 
and I normally just use my water base uh, cleaner to do it with. That's not water based. That's um, thinners based, and yeah, that really does take the paint off stuff and the top surface, and killed my mouse mat. So um, I had to buy a, a new mouse mat. And obviously, I've ended up getting the Razor, Razor something too. Razor, Razor Firefly too. Um, so now it does the same colours as my uh, keyboard. Firefly, is that what, yeah. It is cool. Um, it's also, a, it's probably because that one was so worn out and so used. Um, but it actually does really well. The mouse feel the the mouse goes where I want it to now. So a quick uh, brushing. I'll try not to hit my mat because yeah. So we did a fun one on Monday night. And just trying stuff. Um, it, it was pretty good fun with everyone. I think Jack and a couple of others were giving me ideas, asking me to try bits and pieces, some new paints that I'd been trying. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. So the plan is... Whenever I get any new paints in, I'm going to keep them for impromptu type. Um, just throwdowns of trying stuff. So, you'll need a little bit more in a minute. Right, this is going to be the interesting bit. I've got to get paint on it without getting paint on certain areas. So I'm going to change my glasses and go to close-up mode. Super close-up. Um, while I'm looking for the figure, there, there's the purple that we did. Nothing to see here. <laughs> He's all fine. He didn't break. So, it's been very careful trying not to um, get it on any of the electronics Still trying to keep it as fine as I can without putting too much down. So, he's definitely gone black, um, and hopefully I've protected around there with that. Cool. Yeah, that's the purple. Um, 
it has dried a little bit lighter. So I would presume a second coat of the um, Procryl stuff over it would give you probably a lot better version of the uh, Cadbury's Purple. But it was... Oh. Yeah, that's why I was, try I was trying not to get it. The, the thinners can actually go in between gaps and... I really just didn't want to go. I'll get whatever I didn't get with the brush. So, and then uh, the feet of this work. Him done, her done, him done. And just about run out. Let's give it a quick clean. strong I was thinking of using trans purple over gold for my wolf knight conversion they're not open at the moment but I would recommend that pro krill um, the company that do it is uh, a UK company called uh, sorry I think it's an American company but they have I will do the old googling creature caster uk apparently i've got no products in my car at the moment <laughs> um I think we're having quite bad internet problems at the moment. They are £3.60 a pot, but they've changed the pot since I got them, so there's new versions of the pots. Um, transparent purple. If it ever opens up. In fact, I'll just copy you this. Oh well, it's done it. Uh, they do a full transparent range. We picked it up before. It's transparent red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black. Um, if you buy eight paints, you get 10% off. So you could buy a handful of different colored paints. Um, and hopefully, I can't remember whether they're open or open. I can't see any messages or anything like that about... There's nothing on there to say they're not open at the moment. They're a Canadian company. Cool. British Columbia, Canada. Canada, Canada, Canada. So yeah, we'll, uh, they did mention when they opened back up that um, they would see if they could sort some out. Some of the busts and some of the, the creatures that they do are absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see what we can get and see what some of the stuff we do. I know one of the people that I follow... Um, ooh, uh, Kenny Boucher... Next Level Painting has their stuff on all of the time. Uh, some of the stuff that they've got. There was a big auger and stuff. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, can, uh, I think I'm going to need some better lighting. 
Let's change the camera. I think that's the next thing that we invest in for the Nope, that's too bright. I think it's just the uh we could have a bit of a zoom in. Or not. There we go. So I'll do a bit of close up work and we can actually see the the colours and stuff. Done. They have it in the UK, Jack. Um they, they already send it over. The that link is the UK. Tantara's pledge match. Is that the dragons one, Foxy? So, um, what I'm going to do and what I have been doing with my Idens is a, my old um, black technique. Ask him to remind me after the stream because I'll forget by then. Ah, so they're open again. Cool. I'll get in touch with them this week and see what uh, what goodies they've got. So it's Necron Compound as much off as you can. Um, but you still get a lot on it. I need the metallics through, if that makes sense. And again, a lot of this will get caught, covered up um, with the airbrush work uh, in the second pass. So, the one I did, I think I did it for Dead Stay. Oh, that's that's not but they're not a bad price um i'm going to be doing some series on um inks and washes and stuff like that we've just got the vallejo range in today and uh, we've just got a couple of their washes a couple of their um a couple of things that i'd never ever seen they're doing blood and stuff like that now so we pick them up. I'm going to put another order in because I'm going to stock the metallics. Um, I, honestly, I can't say enough about the airbrush metallic. It, I use it just as much with a brush than I do with the airbrush because it's just such good coating on it. So there we go. <laughs> um, that could actually be your rifle, Steve. <laughs> no, um, I do have a box. Look. Yep. Uh, is that your rifle? If you remind me, I'll stay. I'll paint you up a... Uh, see, I had to cut... If you can see it... Um, yeah. <laughs> um, where is it? So I've got two in there because I've had two people not want the uh, the sniper rifle option. So that's the sniper rifle, and Paul and um, uh, Jack were around, and oh, stop flaring up. We 
cut it away, cut the hand off, re-drilled a little bit of it and got it pretty much like that. Um, I was going to put straps on it, I've just remembered that now. What I might do is get some, um, I've got some fake leather kicking about. Oh, sorry, Leg, Leg, Lego caught my eye on uh, T-Squadron. So, yeah, um, I think, was it Jack's idea that, uh, about the, it was either Jack or Paul or one of them that were saying, because uh, we looked at doing Cassian, but it's just so much work on Cassian's sniper rifle. There's just so many bits to to clear and to redo and stuff like that. We was like, mm, I'll just pass on that one. So I don't know if Paul was going to try and uh, get it to work. Oop. So this is the little droid. Was it Paul? Yeah. <laughs> it was a good idea. And it worked. It really did look good on the back. But I'm not doing it to um, Cassian. Not a chance. So that's um, I'm Looking very, very shiny. And as Steve will tell you, it doesn't finish that shiny, does it? Storm firming. Was that a Snowy! Hello, mate. Sorry if you've been talking to me. I, I know I was halfway through our conversation when uh, I realised that the stream needed to start. So, um, that's them too. I'll just move them out of the way for now. So we've got Mr. Palpatine. I'm going to try and carefully tip. There we go. So that's the blue tack protecting the uh, the LED come off. And yeah, that's perfect. It's worked. So to get his robes and stuff. And again, this is just really quick work. Nothing fancy, not doing multiple layers and stuff like that. Is the black, then an eshing grey. It is just an eshing grey layer, um, just dry brushed on. And it is, it's a reasonable amount because you still do a, um, a wash over the top of it. So you can see it's starting to pick it up. Pick up where I dropped stuff. Are you doing drinks? Yeah, go on then. No, I love mine. Mead. Please. Thank you. So, again, you just do it a bit of time. Let it build up. When you put it onto the brush, that that's the amount that you put on the brush. And... You basically rub, I'd say, 90% of it off. And that's what's left. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Mm. So again, we're just going over the robes, trying to brush it against the folds. Same for the 
hood. The idea behind it is you have very little paint on and as you can see there you're getting the paint transfer on the higher edges because it's hitting the the majority of the, the bristles and it it hits that harder so the paint transfers more whereas the lower bits don't even get touched. The, just the basics of it. Do some that. So, last bit. If you want a a brighter um, effect, yeah, I would go to storm vermin, but just on the very, very, very edges. I might do it actually. Um, just get onto that so uh, dry brushing is one of those techniques once you pick it up it, you find quite a lot of uses for it and it's just a useful tool to have if you want to practice with it the best colour to practice with it is bolt gun metal <laughs> if you can find it anymore or um any of the uh, base metallics, uh, the base silver metallics from GW. So storm vermin fur, just to, again, rub it. <laughs> if you're patient with it, you get some amazing effect. So. There you go. And as you can see, in the front robes there, to try and paint that sort of detail in, it's a lot of effort when if the details already there on the mini you might as well use the raised and lower edges of it and these this is really really it's soft bristle um at the my go-to brushes now um obviously we've had a lord made as well so they're in our shop if anyone wants them so that's that the next thing is the second biggest technique that people use is a null in wash. Um, and number two, because I'm going to be trying not to get it into the electrics. So it's just null in oil, 100%, no watering down on this one. So it will darken off some of the raised areas. So if you want prominent raised areas, take it to a little bit further than you would want to. And then the null in oil brings it back down a bit. And we'll 
get all the robes done before we do any of the fingers and any of the the belt in there and the face because getting the the wash on the face it's not good um, and obviously I've got all the hand to paint where we had it uh, covered and just And then that just get yeah th it was just absolute luck that we found them and worked out what how well they would work um it's it is quite scary that uh we found something good so the two ways to do this obviously um when i used to do Death Troopers, this is the same thing that I use for Death Troopers, for Dark Troopers when I'm doing Storm Troopers in black. Anything that black that need, that has, that you want to make look fake, glossy, shiny. So you basically spray it black and then use chromes or silvers to bring it up. Um, because I've took quite a lot of the, the detail out, I'm going to do a normal null and wash first. Not massively heavy, just so it, like the creases of the trousers, it just picks out the creases. It doesn't do that much to the silver yet. Um, not too bothered about the gloves, not too bothered about the boots because they get a different paint over them uh, in a bit. So. Elbow, armpit, try and get it into there. Now this will give us our shadows and our, um, uh, what's it called? The, the, the troughs and the, the highs and the, the troughs and the lows and the highs and the, all that sort of stuff. So that will take a couple of minutes to dry. And where is my... This is oh, I forgot to do the base rim. So, and then obviously, these are still going to be very silver. Um, and what I used to do, and uh, in the first probably four or five sets of Death Troopers that I ever did. Was I would just keep dry, uh, just keep washing and washing and washing and washing till they went into the black colour, um, and then just well, I can't remember what I was doing. I was doing something, and I tried to wash through an airbrush. Oh, it was the scenery for beanies, putting um, Reichland flesh shade through the airbrush on the scenery to basically do some highlighting without having to do loads and loads and loads of work and just running the dry brush up and down uh, sorry the airbrush up and down all of the the gaps the edges and stuff like that it works so well i was like i wonder if that works on others and then i just went from there and i obviously refined this process massively it speeds it up a lot um but nulling oil through the airbrush, it just it gives you so much control of when and where the black transparency stop. If you're doing it with just a brush, then when you put it on, you basically it's a bit hit and miss whether you get the colour that you want or whether you go that little bit too far too far past it. So got a cup of tea and a cup of mead is that he-man color for you enough snowy zoe made it this is one of her first cups of tea so she makes coffee really well right storm room in fur goes away and Eshing grey. So highlighting black, eshing grey is always a really good one. 
that's the go-to colour. So, while I'm doing this, I'll quickly go back over for the people who have just arrived. Um, the prizes for tonight. We have four prizes for tonight. Um, we have a very, very close... Uh, I'll hold it up there. We have Han Solo Imperial Cadet comic. Um, it's number one. <laughs> I've already started the mead, mate. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, number one, um, and it's a first print as well. So we've got one of them to give away. We have the Luke Skywalker, uh, Age of Rebellion, number one. These are one-shots, so they're not, not that easy to get they come out and then uh and then we have a really 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 nice um darth vader 13 it's the alt cover with bt1 and triple zero on the front um and it's also the second in the vader down series as well so it, that's a good storyline within a comic book run uh so that's three and the fourth one is super butch um, Stormtrooper. So, carded figure. The card isn't mint, but it's a carded figure. Uh, when was it made? Do, 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 do. It's actually 25 year old. Um, 1995, this was produced. So, it's, a tw it's, a, it's technically a vintage piece, but it's super butch. Stormtrooper that's definitely been working out. If all Stormtroopers were like that, we wouldn't have had much problem keeping these Rebels down. Yes, everyone likes Darth Vader. Don't make me get Sun to your fell out. So, uh, yes, uh, tickets and stuff like that. Let me just have a look. So the tickets for tonight will be. I just have to relook at it. Um, edit. So the tickets tonight will be. Uh, let's have a look. A um, hundred credits each, and subscribers again get an extra um, ticket when they put a ticket in. Whew. Oh look, shiny head syndrome, or cap melting syndrome, so coffee out the way, let's see how these are drying, you can still see, see where it pulls it takes a little bit longer, the main body looks pretty decent. Yeah, I think the same as well, Jack. Um, su such an amazing character. There's no rebels that are anywhere like that. So there's um, Disco Death Trooper. Um, that's the purple. As you can see, it's dried a little bit lighter than the Cabris. So I think another another light coat over it. Maybe see the airbrush. And we probably get the purple so if anyone wants a purple death trooper body i've got a spare one <sighs> and he, he's one to jack it's the first of my riot quest figures it's the first one to do a blue wash maybe he's, yeah or a purple wash so this is Doc McStuffin or something like that. I think that's an actual kid's cartoon, but it's Doc something. He's a a witch doctor with a glove puppet. And so far he looks absolutely mad as a... Yeah. So I'm re he's getting there. Um, my first delivery from Privateer Press has just cleared customs we paid the customs charge on it today so we've got the privateer press 
promos. <laughs> oh. <sighs> could be worse. You could have to take acting lessons halfway through portraying Han. <laughs> So, yeah, Aiden's still needing a, a little bit of drying. So the monkey's pretty much done in those colours. Um, I've just been told that we're getting the Monster Apocalypse range in and Riot Quest range in. So they'll be here and should be live next week. <laughs> Um, we then got obviously yeah Riot Quest and Monster Apocalypse coming in I'm going to do that while I'm sat talking we've got a load of new um, Vallejo all the Vallejo basing materials um, after everyone went nuts and bought them all out last week um, we've restocked and I've added to the range now we've got everything that they had in stock at the moment so it's quite quite a comprehensive range there's some clears and some waters and stuff like that um, it's st I've not played with some of it I know I said we were only going to start listing uh, start buying stuff that we're using but someone asked us for some water effects so we ordered them in for them. I ordered a couple of extra. I'm going to try them myself. So, yes, I know, Jack. At the same time that I do the basing effects for so, I'm just quickly use the airbrush to dry off the paint. See if I can I'm trying not to blow too heavy over pulp, just enough to try and dry it. thing but not much do have is a special bottle of Nullin in a dropper bottle so I don't have to mess around trying to get it out of a normal bottle to put into the airbrush um, the black primer is still in there but I'm just gonna mix it in a bit not with that I'm not don't need to do this to pulp this is just for um, time to glove up right and then put a thing down on the mat so I don't ruin the mat again so 
so you should start. There's not much. Let's see on that. It's about a 50 50 air to water, uh, air to paint on the airbrush, just so when the ink hits or the wash or the null in hits the actual figure it's starting to dry he says nothing's coming out so yeah as you're doing this it's drying it as it goes hopefully as much as it can You can see there, it's gone from silver. So I'm just trying to get the armor plate. I don't need to get the gloves because I'm going to use something else in a minute for the gloves. But it's just to darken off the helmet there. in the stomach area so when you look at it now from certain angles and the creases in the trousers and stuff like that actually look as though the creases rather than just painted bits except for this fella he doesn't need much of that so that's quite a lot of paint left in that Nulling oil. Quick clean through. Off we go again. So, one of them, one of that. Take the glove off. so if you do go too far past you can just put a very 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 light dry brush on some of the bits i'm going to try and hit the ventilator bits there and get a bit of extra onto them um, the red accents on the helmet will pick the helmet out i'll dry brush the gun so i can put the um, the heat onto the uh, he's still gonna dry I might not get back to uh, pulpy tonight so a small dry brush a small dry brush this is our small dry brush it's great for just doing certain bits um, I don't want to try, I want to try and stay away from the armour as much as possible that I've done. Um, but again, take off as much as possible. And just looking at the gun. silver to build up slightly so the gun slightly highlighted Get the ventilators 
Yes, that looks good. So the ventilator has a lot more on it. And they're going in use like that. So that comes up and goes like that. So that's the, what else am I going to do in that? So the shoulder pad here is going to be red, but if if you put red over black you know it's quite interesting to get it so a little targeted dry brush on the shoulder pad and that'll give us a bit more and just try to pick out anything that's metal one second Right up in there, yeah. Just trying to get the butt of the gun and stuff like that. It's not easy to see under the camera. So that you can see the back of the butt. The butt. Um, so you can add a bit to the. the boots a bit because what we're going to do with the boots in a second hides most of it but the gloves as well it just allows the black to come through the gloves and it, uh, sorry the silver to come through the black on the gloves and the boots and that gives it a little bit of a um, shading without too much work again So, um, gloves, boots, gloves, glove, boots, gloves. Hiya, Lucky. So, it is contrast, Black Templar. Not much left. Might have to order some of that. And look, I've just knocked it all over. None fell out. That's how desperate things are. <laughs> so, the boots, fully contrasted using the um, the silver highlight, the silver dry brush that we've just done to do some highlights and low lights. Boots again. They're also, it's a different black to the, it's, it's weird to say, but it's a different black to the um, the work that we've just done to get the the silvery black as it were um, and so you do, they do go slightly glossy as well so it's something i have noticed with um contrast now to get in the fingers and, uh, that and stick your finger in it Lee why don't you oh. it's a good job it's like a wash and it stays wet for ages <sighs> cheers snowy <laughs> oh, yeah pot stands are amazing um they stop you knocking pots over. So that's that. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what the worst part is, Snowy? I took it out of the pot stand that's here. <laughs> so this is my pot stand for paint in use at the time. So as you can see, it's 
got an Agrax, it's got some snow, it's got my go-to flesh colour, it's got one of the silvers I use. It's also got the black contrast that I use and the red that I use all the time. And that's just here, literally just to the left of this, all the time. It never moves. It does stop you knocking stuff over as well. Look, I've put the dry brush stuff's not going to fall out. Ooh, I didn't clean the brush. Yeah, contrast paint has an interesting taste. Don't do that at home. So, I don't know if you can see the boots. It doesn't show up very... Uh, maybe it's there. The boots and the gloves end up with a... <laughs> do, <laughs> the boots and the gloves have a slightly different black, less matte... Just a deeper, richer black. If that has a um, thank you, old frick. So yeah, that's that. So the red um, that I use, and I know it's a bit naughty to say it, but um, I use foundation mercurite red. It's not available. You can't buy it off the shelf. It's a pain in the butt to get hold of. Um, it's a bit like gold dust but it's so good Snow, what's the one that you use Snowy I love it's one of the stones Denab stone was the one I got you so I'm going to have to go super close again thank you Ulfric So, bit of freehand because the line isn't actually I need a bit of thinner to keep this See how well that red coat. Yeah, Denab stone's amazing. Um, I've still got a couple myself. So, there is also a stripe down this arm. Um, and I've seen three different ways it's been painted. So, I go from the corner of the lapel. Down from the gun from the elbow part of the gun crossing the elbow just like that there's also a there we go. Oh, never realized how hard it is to actually do very close up so there's a red line comes up off the mouthpiece or one of the mouthpieces that 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 shoulder lapel always save the best for last I am concentrating if you can't hear <laughs> I am being careful because the other option is um, if you do go into the gaps with it and you've gone too too thin with the paint and it's filled the gaps you can then just put a null in wash over it it's just trying to 
that not you do get a much more defined line if you don't like that that's my thing oh god need it to go a bit further in there so we've talked about um brushes before and these are very fine lines that I'm trying to get into here and the point on this brush just makes it so much easier oh, got the gun, missed it so that now as you can see that is a super fine point yeah there was a few ways of doing it the box art didn't look i've been looking at the actual character art and stuff like that and that's how it that's how i've come to do it it gives a bit more red oh i missed some he says missing a big chunk out at the bottom bit. So yeah. Sorry, I was on about the brush. Um so as you can see the the brush is super fine. Now the good thing with that is it's got quite a good body, which is this bit to take the paint into like a reserve tank and that gives you three or four brush strokes on on the model so while you've got let me fill it up again so if you look there you can see the paint is probably a quarter of the way up so then while I'm painting I'm not doing that getting more paint getting more paint it does give I'm not using my right glasses either more time on the miniature itself yeah there's no right or wrong way mate you've ju you just end up doing it how Oop. so uh, as I was saying that is actually a number one brush by Broken Toad. That's the Series 2. Um, and that point, I've used this for quite some time now. It's not a new brush, and the point stayed. Um, it won't if I don't clean it properly. The point is absolutely fantastic. It's probably my, no my number one brush. It is probably my favorite brush that I use, um, the, the number one. It's. I hear a lot of people going on about um, different brushes, going down to five zero brushes. Where's my five zero? If I've even still got it. Yep. So I've got a five zero brush, which is there, and as you can see, the point is not that much different. Now this this five zero is a brush that we sell. It's a pure Kalinsky brush. We sell it. Um, I don't tend to use it. <laughs> um, if I go to use this now and I fill the brush up with paint, yeah, it bulbs it out too much. So you can then get rid of the paint by thinning it and by twisting it and all the stuff like that but you then got basically oh where's that splodge there that's the paint gone whereas this you could do five or six of those lines and not have to worry about going back and forward and filling the brush up the one the zero one and two, oh, have I got my zero kicking about
Yep, that's my zero. Oh, that's a three zero. So I still prefer. Oh, hey. I still prefer that one, the number one, over a triple zero for close work. I do have a... Yep. That's my zero. But as I say, it's still got the same-ish size tip. I actually found a Series 1 the other day, Snowy. No idea... I can't even remember getting Series 1 brushes. It just looked so different compared to the others. Anyway, um, so yeah, it, you can get really, really detailed with a size 1. So while I'm in that, I'm going to do the eyes. Not dull aluminium. Chrome. So these are the paints that we're going to start stocking. I was on about snowy. They're acrylic metal colour. There's about... About 14, 15 of them. Um, this is how the paint comes out. As you can see, the metallic swirling there are unreal. That's what it dries like on the top. So it is very bright silver. And I've got no idea why I did three drops of it. Because that will last for... Let go of the... Again, to the close-ups. So, to do the eyes... I see a lot of people trying to fill the eye socket with all of the silver and stuff like that. Um, I tend to try and do, so can you, uh, I'm not sure if you're going to see it or not. So the eye socket, I'm going to have to uh, probably do this off camera. I've just drawn a line through it. Because the way I do it is when you come to put the red in, the red fills the edges anyway and it goes fairly deep so you can't see any silver at the edge. And it's a place where you're going to mess up anywhere. You get the eyes. You just put a line in. You don't fill it to the edge. You don't need to. Because, as I said, I have no idea why I filled that much silver into there. Um, which colour red? There's various reds to fill the gap with. Um, GW do quite a good range. Uh, yeah. Um, that's the technical uh, Spirit Stone Red. That's a really good clear. That's it before I put it into a bottle. Um, there is Blood for the Blood God. I don't know why it's separated like that. It looks like it's gone. Blamonge. Yeah, Blood for the Blood God. That goes quite clear as well. If you win the lottery, you can always use For Forge World's airbrush um, paint because I use it for eyes. I don't mind so much because you're only using one or two drops. So 
so with the red the clear red I'll try to tend I don't know if it's oh god I've got my hat on back I've filled the entire socket with the red the clear red and that's the look that you get the silver shines through but it doesn't look Yeah. Um, the metallic paint will be from us soon. That'll be in the next week or so. We should have the the metallics in. The red paint, the Angron red. You've got no chance of finding that one. Um, I would probably just go with Spirit Stone Red. Uh, it's, it's a technical colour. And um, Beanies will have it in stock, mate. So, put, put it on your watch list. When you get up to a decent level, put an order in again with Beanies. Um, and I just decant it into dropper bottles so I can put it through the airbrush. There is, there is other blood paint as well. There's um, blood for the blood god. It, it's a lot deeper and a lot. It does just look like blood when it comes out. Or not. Um, I used to use that until I found better. So that's, that's that. So it's a, it's a lot deeper red. Um, but you can clart this on stuff. It does look like. It sticks to anything uh, and it just does look like um, congealed blood thank you for the follow Dan it is much appreciated so yeah um, this is used by one of my good colleagues um, to cover up any mistakes and stuff like that so if you do something like a fantasy blood letter with a big axe and you get a couple of stray mist strokes, you just co cover the axe in blood and then do drops of blood down the body where you've made mistakes. Great piece of kit. <laughs> so that's the eyes. The eyes go really well. You can see the glint. Glint. Ah, uh, glint. So, yeah. Um... Oh, the other thing to do while you've got while I've got some of that out is both weapons have scopes on. So And I'll use the blood god burn for that. Slightly different colour. Same effect. So as you can see on the sniper rifle, it's now got a red sniper scope. And so does that one. So now some of the stuff's dried off you can actually start to see the uh, so if you look on the legs the silver's coming through so you can actually see it it's very nice highlighted silver pulling through the black um, the belt I probably should have done a bit of a uh, dry brush over that but if you look at the boots, the boots are a jet black instead of the black on the thing. Same with the gloves. It just breaks the miniature up slightly. So, what time is it? It's 8.35. Um, 
we don't have a stretch goal tonight. Just any donations are appreciated. Uh, the giveaway... Am I late? I'm six minutes late. So the giveaway has a 30-minute timer on it. It's a 100 um, credits a ticket. Oh, did I put a maximum number of tickets on? With a maximum number of five tickets per person. Save. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, f five tickets per person, 100 credits a ticket, S people who sub or have been given subs by the gracious Ulfric will get um, Did your points not go on, stay? Give us two seconds. Uh, I'll start. I'll start the raffle. Just give us a second, and I'll fix it. We had this last week as well. Mm -mm -mm. Open in a new tab. Look at you all two. Right, I'm going to start it now. We had it with a few people last week. Um, don't know why. Uh, cloudy butt. Court cues loyalty. What is it? It's dead st ninety nine. Yeah, for some reason. Have a check there, Stacey, see if that's uh, updated for you. And cheers, everyone, again. What I was going to look at, because I know Foxy is very interested in it. There you go. No worries, Matt. So... The stats for this month so far is um, pretty good. We At the moment, we've got 19 viewers, 20 viewers, 19 viewers. Uh, so 1,143 viewers. So that's people turning up, watching, going away. Maybe he's coming back later. Um, 26 subscribers this month. 27 sub points this month. And we're up to 121 followers. No, <laughs> um, I can't find any transfer. I've, I'm going to have to speak to uh, Nannybot to see how he's been doing it. Um, th there is literally nothing in anywhere. I've even Googled it. It's, yeah, it really has confused me. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Yeah, for something that I should have done a long time ago, the, the stats are building up really, really well. Um, really, really chuffed with how stuff's going. <coughs> and as I said, the more and more I get into it, the more and more I enjoy it, finding different things to do the lego stream the game stream as we're going to probably do another monster apocalypse tomorrow so um i don't think i'll get the monkeys done yet because i'm still nowhere near painting them probably or at all i've got one monkey done but i don't think so you'll be impressed if i start throwing her around with a monkey I think someone's making food. Snowy tickets, yay! I'll be, yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to have to tidy the garage uh, probably in the morning because a, a certain raster turned up yesterday 
with a car full of stuff for us to uh, sort out and to get sold. Ooh. We've lifted it so it's a lot more susceptible to uh, being knocked. So, that's the Iden so far. What I was going to do is, because I know some of you wanted to see the gun colour again. <laughs> Yay! Impromptu stand for Iden. So, to do the gun colouring snowy that you keep missing we use Druki Violet sorry Drakenoff Nightshade <laughs> Drukari Violet Druki Violet Druki Violet and Serapin Sepia so the quick run through is taking the blue so you're basically looking at where you want the heat distortion you break it up into three so um, if you want it the full barrel you do it a third if you don't then you just do it there's no right or wrong so I'm going to do it about a third so Druky Violet to start sorry Dracken off Nightshade the blue to start Then the Druki Violet. So what you're doing is you're putting the Druki Violet on and then merging it a little bit. So I'm not doing the full length of the gun. Just to that. And then the last bit you do with a Seraph and Sepia. Oh, someone's made toast. Someone's made toast and ran off. Cheese, toast. Cheese toasties. Oh, my word. <sighs> so, yeah, you can just to say it dries a lot better. You can just to see the colour tints changing there. So you've got the blue, the purple, and the um, seraph and sepia. And that's it. It's not. I'll make you some when you okay, thank you. So it's not massive amounts to do it. Um, if you want to add more in, as you do. Just add a bit of blue. <sighs> Mom. Zoe's been naughty. What? She's saying she's got toasties. <laughs> so yeah, you can actually start seeing it. I don't. Can you see it on there? Is it is it picking it up? So what I'm going to do is, before I knock it over, I'm going to put the tops back on all of these. So that's just a quick way to do heat distortion on barrels, engines, stuff like that. Uh, blue at the end, uh, blue at the tip, Druky Violet in the middle, and Seraph and Sepia at the end. Really quick, really fast, really effective. That seems to be what we aim for on this uh, stream. So... Do you want that doing on yours as well, Steve? Silvering and then the uh, heat distortion on it. Those eyes are them. Ugh, scary eyes. I'm going to have to let that uh, dry. <laughs> 
did a full stream of me cutting guns and stuff like that, and I didn't stab myself once. You should have seen Jack and Paul shouting in the stream to try and make me jump. Disgraceful, I tell you. Um, so, we've got 42 minutes left. No, we don't. We have 21 minutes left on the stream and 42 tickets in. I can see people now. No worries. Reese, let's move out a bit. Move back in a bit. And. There we go. So, obviously, because she's all black, you can't really see it. Can you see the purple very well? Let's have a quick. <laughs> Filter. It goes smoky if I do that. It's going to be, yeah, uh, as good as I can get it. It is quite a represent. My hands are bright red at the moment. So, yeah, it is, uh, it is quite a, a bright. Look, this is how Palpatine's finished. Just sat over there all in his own and, no. So, he has, let's have a close-up of Palp. Not that close, take it back. So, he's drying out nicely, and you can see the ruffles in his... Yeah. Should have a look at what he looks like when he's powered up. He does look evil. Thank you, John, for the follow. Unlimited power. Is it three volts? It is a three volt cell. <laughs> oh, why am I asking if it's a three volts and checking when it's you that? Didn't realise it was you. So. There's hands and stuff to paint up on that yet. But it's still got. I filled the face area too much with the nulling. So that's still. That's what they come out like. Just a lot less starry on the thing. Because I managed to get. Some metallic over him when I'd finished. It does actually look quite. I'll do another quick dry brush once it's done, but yeah. And then if you rub it really quick, all the paint comes off. And you can start again. Look at my Legion Rebels before I sell, trade them off. Won't need them with my Empire and Separatists. Um, we've got a lot of uh, Rebels stock. Ask, ask in T-Squadron, see if anyone wants them in there first. Um, I know there's a couple of people playing Rebels. Uh, I don't even know what you've got. Is it just the car set? Phew, Rebels. Yeah. Um, I didn't say that out loud. So one of the, one of the other dry brushes we have is the curved. 
it's the same material and it's the same company that was made as the other ones. Ooh. Um. I may do, mate. I'm trying to get some stock of unpainted. Is it painted or is it just... Look at that. See, this is what I was on about with this. There's little or no paint on it and I'm just using a, a dry patch on that. But the soft bristles just... They caress the model. Sorry. Um, and they just bring out... Yeah, I forgot who I was asking. I don't know. You might have bought some with paint already on. It's not unheard of, you know. So this is just the um, Eshing Grey again. Just not very much of it. So, depending on how far you want to go, you can just keep very lightly. Oh, I said very lightly and put the load on. Let's get myself. Um, keep doing it till you get the level of light and shadow that you want. As I say, I've got GW brushes for dry brushing and um, I know when I first picked these up and tried them I was like yep th they work so obviously we we uh, acquired a lot more and um, I, I've got loads of them I use them all the time I have three or four of the same one because obviously building colours up see all the folds I've got light and dark on them now and there's no massive skill involved it's just patience obviously if you put the paint on really thick and just go it's not going to do it you'll spend more time pulling the paint back off or painting over it And it is just, the paint goes on so thin, you don't need a lot of it on, especially dry brushing. But even when you're putting layers on, don't put too much on. Thin the paint so it's like the consistency of milk. If your first cut, if your first coat doesn't cover it, so it, some of the paints like yellow and stuff like that don't, don't coat very well at all. So you basically... Um, you've just got to build it up. So, I'm just quickly.
actually, I just need to check something because I've failed in my duties today. Take a print screen of that. Well, we <coughs> we have a uh, painting competition in beanies at the moment, and I may have it may have ended at six o'clock, and I've forgot to uh, post the stuff about it. That really looks good, Kit. Right, so I'm now going to let that really, really dry before I, I'm probably caught that. Um, so, Iden, other than a couple of little bits of dry brushing here and there to pick out some of the silvers, I'm going to try and get that belt, the belt. Just a very light. There you go. See that? That took nothing, and the belt's now got a little bit of oomph to it. There you go. And the respirator. If you can see, it. yeah. You can see the heat distortion from certain angles. The three things that to do the heat effect is um, say I forget all the time. So I've I've got them with numbers on the lids. Number one, two, and three. And so it is Drakenhof Nightshade for the tip. Druki Violet for the middle. And a Seraphim Sepium for the middle bit. Yeah, for the uh, back bit. Some people use a bit of orange in between the um, Druki and the Seraphim just to get it. Um, sorry, James is just sending me messages. Yeah. He never comes and watches me. He doesn't love me, James. So yeah, that's... If you want more of a pronounced um, effect, you would put a brighter silver in. Um, like the copper... Uh, like the... Hmm... I would probably dry brush it more with a chrome to get it a little bit more. But that's just subtle. It's nice. It's not overpowering. And So the next thing to do. So we've got. How long have we got left on the. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've got seven minutes left. So I think I can get the basing on in seven minutes. So. Basing material, as always, um, I use Vallejo Earth Texture or one of their textures. Shameless plug, we have loads of this in stock now. Um, uh, spatulia. It's just spatula it on. Like so. And
you just spread it out and then once it's once I've got a, a good level I'll um, try and mold it is that I think the words manipulate it reminds me of um, <laughs> wow that takes yeah that uh, it does actually so when I was a wee nipper um, I used to ooh, I can see someone's talking on one of the other channels and I can't see it out hiya whoever's hiya James Poppleton <laughs> We've just been talking about you. Peanut butter. So, um, once I've put the peanut butter on, um, so this is James. He's on. He's not on Twitch. He's on the other one of the other channels. I'm presuming Facebook. So when um, at Christmas time. Um, Gran used to always uh, ice her own cakes and she used to get a, um, a spreading tool like this so she would spread the icing all over and then once there was a thick layer on it she would use the implement and just tap it like that so it made peaks and troughs and made all the icing stick up and it's only today, actually on the stream, that I've realised that's where it came from. And, and that's where I had the idea from ages ago to do it like that. I've got itchy nose now. There we go. So I'll also do this one. Hi Elaine, yeah we've been doing Legion, we've done a Ident that's nearly finished and ready to go, we've done the little buddy, oh I forgot to do the eye on the buddy, oh. um, we've done the Palpatine, the K, well we've started the Palpatine that K donated to the stream and once that's done we've done all of his cloak the dry brushing and everything like that it's still the dry brushing feels um yeah still as if it hasn't uh properly set so i'm going to do the base of this yeah uh, i Aiden's little friend Um, it's got a clear pole on it and I've just covered it with masking tape I always um, even if I'm only putting basing material down I still prime the base uh, it just gives the basically it gives the um, any of the peanut butter chance to stick to the base Oh, there we go. The primer is like marmalade on the Christmas cake, because the Christmas cake always got marmalade between the Christmas, the between the fruit cake and the layer of marzipan. There we go, and it's now got its icing on. Didn't drop it. It's still fine. So I won't do pulp because um, I've still got washes and dry brushing and I don't want to hit that. But as we proved the other day, this stuff is so versatile. Um, we did, I think it was five or six different designs of bases from that um, earth texture that ranged from Martian land to, um, so the, these were some of them that we were playing around with. So there was sand, and that's like the basic sand color that it comes out. You dry brush that, you get sand, put a couple of tufts on it. You've then got mud, 
burnt our dried out mud again it just that was with agraxa shade thrown on it so it's probably my most used i'm just double checking that none of it's ah it's got so the uh let's have a look this yeah, where is it it's ah right uh the raffle's got 40 seconds left <laughs> if anyone wants a ticket it's on automatic it will end in 30 seconds so right swap glasses swap back to the wide out camera view not that wide There we go. That's the masking tape. Tammy masking tape. Best in the market. Here in the draw. Little buddy. Stood next to that. Come on. St stand up. Oh, sit. Good. So that's it. The raffle is over. Um, oh, let me just get. Let's have a look. So, 11 users and 46 tickets purchased tonight. Um, that's really good. So, tonight was um, four items. We have the Star Wars Buff Stormtrooper, donated by James at um, something for the geek end. If you want comics. You can't beat James. Um, Imperial Cadet Han Solo it was when he when he was fighting for the right side. Luke Skywalker, Age of Rebellion, and then the best one of all, Darth Vader, number thirteen, variant edition, um, and it's part two of six of the Vader Down series. Vader Down series is brilliant. So. First up, where we go? So I might have put this where I don't. I'll move the paintbrushes. So the first up for the. Ah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm also going to write this one down so I don't forget. Because I can't just write it on the bag. I can on them. Um, I don't think people want me writing on their comics. So. Stormy. Number one. So the first one, yep, the drum roll for the buff stormtrooper. He is, he has definitely been working out. And the first winner is <laughs> Reese. <laughs> well done on owning a twenty-five-year-old stormtrooper that's probably ten years older than you. So it's a collector's item. It's not to be painted. It's not to be played with. Collectible. So. I will put that over there all the way. So second up. Yes you. Is. <laughs> Darth Vader. Hench Trooper. Yeah. Um, Darth Vader. Variant cover. You know what? I wish I could. I wish I could really, really will this to go to Snowy. Come on, I'll pray that this goes to Snowy so you can learn the dark side. <laughs> and this one goes to Paul. <laughs> so, well done, Paul. Again. Yeah. So, yeah, a, a Vader comic to Paul. I've not worked out how to send these out yet. I'll have to look at that this week. Uh, so, yeah, Paul gets Vader. <sighs> so, we will go with... <laughs> oh, snowy. 
Yeah, give me the numbers that you put the lottery on as well. Uh, so, Star Wars Age of Rebellion, Luke Skywalker, number one. Doesn't he look a bit like Boris Johnson in that? Do you think Luke Skywalker was Boris Johnson or is Boris Johnson? Anyway, the next person to win the Luke Skywalker comic is Jack <laughs> terrorist propaganda yep so yeah uh, well done Jack you've got Age of Rebellion Luke Skywalker it's a good read I'm not saying that I've read it or anything no I already have it these are, this is why these are <laughs> <laughs> Jack would at least. Um, so this is when Han Solo was one of the good guys. This was long before he got corrupted by the evil that is um, the re the rebels. The this was when he was a good guy. Um, it looks like he's just crashed a Tie Fighter, like, but obviously not because Han's a. Imperial Cadet. So, the Imperial Cadet one. Ooh, let, before I do the Imperial Cadet one, uh, Luke goes to Jack. And Han goes to. Who's going to get Han? Who's going to get blinded by Han? This goes to Sarah. <laughs> well done, Sarah. And all of this is part one of a four part series. So, um, yeah. <sighs> cool. So, again, that's, um, it's a good read, that one. That, that is really good. Um, you will end up buying the other three. I pretty much, uh, pretty much guarantee it. Um, so what we've got done tonight, um, we've got Aiden nearly finished and the little droid that I forgot about. But we've got that one. I'll probably finish that off on the next one. Maybe do the giveaway next Wednesday for... Um, the light up one and obviously we've got the blue monkey done dance monkey oh. so thank you everyone uh, who came along tonight we've had um, oh, probably our most at the moment 24 watches at the moment thanks for everyone who subscribed again thanks for Ulfric for donating loads of subscriptions that's absolutely fantastic thanks for the followers thanks i figured it out hi james <laughs> so everyone say thank you to james for the comics for tonight um oh, i've told you when all this is dropped you can come round for a bacon sandwich <laughs> Hiya, James. You've just cut, you've just tuned in as we close. Um. So yeah, thank you everyone for the subs. Thank you everyone for the donations. Um. Yeah, and thanks, James, for the bits and pieces. We gave away the Butch Stormtrooper. It's gone to uh, Reese. Uh, <laughs> And, and if I had a t-shirt, people could go and get the t-shirt from a website. I don't see any streams. We're on the stream now. Oh, this is taking a while. Before everyone disappears, go and have a look at this. Yeah, 
in, in the meantime, if anyone wants to see the T-shirt the that we're going to promote next week, is... I know it's a Rebel one, but it's still a really, really cute T-shirt. Um, you can buy them now. They're already there. He's going to get us one printed for the next stream, so I'm sat painting in one as well. It just sometimes he can be a, a bit slow. Uh, it's 25 viewers. Wow. Uh, I don't want to leave you guys. <laughs> so, yes, we will close the stream there. As I said, thank you for everyone that's donated, subbed, and all that sort of stuff. Please share, like, subscribe the website, the pa Facebook pages, and stuff like that. We're starting to get quite a following. And please visit the shop, have a look around, see what's on there. Any sales are really appreciated at the moment. We're trying to build up um, a different type of shop to what we've had for a while. We're trying to concentrate on the painting products. So they're all starting to build up now as well. Everyone stay safe. Have a good night. And we shall see you tomorrow for some monster apocalypse, I think. Maybe's. Yeah. Catch us all soon. Good night.